Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the latest development here in downtown Endicott. I'll tell you what it is and I'll take you for a walk around the site. And then stick around, make sure you watch the video till the end. I'll show you another demolition project on Washington Avenue that now is completed. Sorry, I didn't have time to get out there while they were demolishing it. But yeah, I thought some of you guys might be interested to see the latest uh, happenings here in town. So uh, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoy seeing me freeze to death when it should be spring. And uh, got to give a thank you to all of the people that support us on Patreon and YouTube members. I know some of you have just recently joined, so thank you for that. And if you want to join them, links are down in the video description. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's go take a look. are currently standing on the corner of Broad Street and Garfield Avenue. It looks like somebody replaced the A in the sign there. That's interesting. So I'll take you guys for a walk through the project area down Garfield here. And uh, we've got uh, a lot of this temporary fencing going on here. Looks like they've uh, excavated out a lot of old concrete from the site. I think at least part of this lot was occupied at one point, like maybe this half of it right here, or maybe there was a house here or something. I, d I don't really remember. Uh, growing up, I always kind of remembered this as like an empty lot with trees and shrubbery and grass on it. I think a lot of people used it as a shortcut to get across to the neighborhoods over there. That's how I remember it anyway. And you've got the church across the street here with the old gymnasium where my very short basketball career uh, never took off. And the school, former school, I think. Yeah, it's former. They got a little uh, gravel driveway going on here to get the heavy equipment in. I'm gonna try not to trip. And yeah, they've got a really big well, they've got an excavator, and then they've got this really big Volvo truck here, like an earth mover. That thing's huge. So, coming down Garfield, looks like they've got a portage on. If I didn't know any better, I would say they were building a ramp to, a, like, a bridge or something. <laughs> anyway, not a whole lot of development at the site here yet. Looks like they've got some kind of storage pod or something like that. Now, you may be asking yourselves, what is this site going to be? I'm glad you asked. This site is going to be in O'Reilly Auto Parts. And uh, from what I understand, they're a very rapidly growing national chain. Now, I've never been to one, but I've heard all of their commercials over the years. And... Uh, I can't really say I've been curious to see one because I feel like once you've seen one auto parts store, you've probably seen them all, but who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. <clears throat> and um, they obviously have cleared the lot. There's a pile of old trees over here and a pile of old trees on the other side down there. And then uh, we're approaching Main Street here now the former Celebrations on the Avenue, former Nurchies on the Avenue before that, right across the street over here. And, uh, yeah. Now, another interesting thing about this lot is a few years back, they installed this digital sign that, with the Welcome to Endicott lettering above it. And I'm sure they make a little bit of money selling ads on it, but I, I can't imagine it's that big of an income driver. But who knows? I hope it is. I hope it's very profitable. 
and then to the right you've got the Wendy's lot, UE High School, and the gas station. One of the few Dunkin' Donuts in the area without a drive through across the street. But that's all right. Sometimes walking in's not bad. And we'll go a little bit down the street here. There's not really a whole lot much more to see. Somebody's got a mailbox set up over there. I wonder how you're supposed to access that mailbox with the chain link fence here. Although maybe it's not for mail at all. Maybe it's just to keep project documents in. And uh, it appears they have a telephone pole set up, uh, or going to be set up. And uh, this is their, like, office, I'm guessing. I wonder which way on the lot the auto parts store will eventually sit. I wonder if it'll be, like, more towards the back down there, or if it'll be more towards the side. I don't know. All right, so keep watching. I'm gonna take you guys over to the site of the former Endicott Inn and show you what remains of another demolition project to the side of that lot uh, quickly. So yeah, keep watching. All right, so we're walking towards where the Endicott Inn used to be. This is the uh, former Nurchies on the Avenue, like I mentioned earlier. And then it was Celebrations and now it's just appears to be closed. So, right over here, there used to be another house, right where you see the fresher dirt over there. And somewhere on the same lot was a place called Hockey Bob's a long time ago. If you go way, way back on the channel, I did make a brief video in high school, a bit right before it closed. And, uh, yeah, so former Endicott Insight, ripe for redevelopment. Hopefully they can do some kind of housing project here with maybe some mid, mid-tier housing. So, you know, not just like, not just like all low income stuff, like maybe a mix of mid to low income. But yeah, I think, I think housing might be a good idea for the site, but we'll see what develops. There's a look down the avenue for you. We got some really nice artwork right on that building right there. That's uh, been a thing around town lately, is they've been doing more and more uh, murals on buildings, which is really pleasing to the eye. It's a better than nothing, you know? Well, anyway, guys, that's a quick look around the latest developments here on the southern end of Washington Avenue. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below, and uh, thanks for watching. As we wrap up the video here, just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Scott at Sound Selection. His DJ wedding service is amazing. My wife and I used him at the Binghamton Club back in 2017. He was great on the microphone. He got everybody jumping and having a great time. His lighting was super modern. The music was awesome. I would highly recommend him. Has tons of extra equipment like photo booths, projection lighting, TVs to keep everything lively and entertaining. Check him out at soundselection.com.